So when I am instructing the patient about what I'm planning to do, I don't want to use any medical terms. So I'm simply going to tell them that I'm going to be listening to their heart in four spaces. And then I show that on my own body. I say, I'm going to be listening here, here, a little lower than that, and then on the left chest wall. So just a second, and I'll show you how to do that on a male um, volunteer. Um, listening post is the aortic valve, and that is on the right sternal border at the second intercostal space. So assuming that his first rib is just posterior to the um, clavicle, I will take this is the first intercostal space, and there is the second intercostal space. I'm going to go over until I'm just at the sternal border, which is right here. And then I'm going to listen directly across at the second intercostal space on the left. This is the pulmonic valve. As we go down, so that is the second intercostal space, third intercostal space, fourth intercostal space. The fourth intercostal space on the left of the sternum is where we find the tricuspid valve. Finally, in the midclavicular line, so halfway across the clavicle, and coming down in the fifth intercostal space, which is about right here on him, I will listen to the mitral valve. Aortic listening post, second intercostal space, just to the right of the sternum. Pulmonic listening post, second intercostal space, just to the left of the sternum. Tricuspid listening spot, post, fourth intercostal space, just to the left of the sternum. And then midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space for the mitral valve. Thank you. For the female patient, we listen to the same valves, but of course the left breast can be in the way of our effectively listening to the mitral valve. For this reason, we ask our patients to assist us. So please watch as I demonstrate how to auscultate the four heart valves on a female patient. So I'm going to listen to four spots on your chest, right here, right here, a little lower than that, and then on your chest wall itself, um, left chest wall. So, um, to get started, would you mind if I undid your gown so that I can listen on skin? No, nope, that's okay. Hi. And I'm going to pull it down and I just like for you to support it. There you go. Thank you. So, clavicle, first intercostal space, second intercostal space. And then I listen to the pulmonic valve directly opposite that. And I do need to lower this just a little bit. Tricuspid valve. Okay, now you can put this up. And for the fourth valve, I'm going to ask you to lift your left breast with your right hand. Okay. And I'm going to come in over this, on the, the side of your gown, and I'm going to place the stethoscope in the midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space or as close to the fifth intercostal space as I can get while preserving my patient's modesty. Okay, thank you very much. Please note that once I have the hang of this, I don't really have to count down the intercostal spaces. So you may be wise to practice this at home before your SP encounters so that you can simply look at your patient and guesstimate where the second inter intercostal space is on the right and the left, go down a little bit to get the fourth intercostal space, and then the fifth intercostal space. Thank you very much.